Hey guys, I'm Hansel here, bringing you guys a theater gameplay of my uh, last GB match. I'm going to be showing uh, four games coming up in this week. So your inbox will be funny, getting filled up with our videos, instead of one every now and again. So, I'm starting off here, there's a game battles match against a team that was, I think, 4-1, so a pretty decent team. And the team they lost to was like 35-0, and up. so obviously we felt these guys were a challenge. We ended up losing the first game to them. It was uh, Domination on Hanoi. This is just Domination uh, MLG with MLG rules. Um, so you won't see Search and Destroy this time around. But uh, coming up here, I took A, B, A, B flags. So those are the ones I want to hold. And I'm using the Sonus Galil with Ninja, Sleight of Hand, and uh, Lightweight. Because Flag Jack is not allowed and Ghost is very useless. So that's mainly what you see. Well, that should be the only thing you see, really. And uh, right here, I'm just going to be camping B flag because um, these guys, last time we had them triple capped on Hanoi, but it just didn't work out. So we found a double cap and ended up working best against these guys and just taking what we can. There were a couple of guys coming around A. My teammate turns around, but he turned around the wrong direction and gets out gun, unfortunately. Now I call it that they're on the B flag while my teammates run to B and try to save it. I also make an effort to go to B because that is the main flag. My teammates call it that he's there, he's weak. So I get the lucky spray while he's trying to run away. He's in... Yeah. So right here, I know my teammates are on the cat B flag. Except hopping on it and dying because these guys do know their needs. I come in and I watch their spawns. And I kill them after coming out of their spawn, which is a smart thing to do. So, that's a tip that I think most people don't use. They just hop on flags and wait for them to come to you. What I would rather do is have two guys on the flag and have a guy rush their spawn. If the guy dies to spawn, he held them back for a couple seconds. That's perfect. It gives you a couple more seconds to catch the flag. Instead of all three people being in one nade spot or general area. Because next game you'll see me come on and I do something pretty impressive for a four on four. I love it. So. Um, something else that people don't really know is when you use a silencer in this, people know that you don't show up on the radar. But people in game battles are very reliant on it. They're, they're like, okay, no radar, I'm good. And a lot of teams, they don't have the best callouts. Like these guys here, sure they were 4 and 1 and they were good enough. Their callouts weren't good. I managed to go around right now, I'm 15 and 1 in a game battles match. That should never happen. Ever. So right here I'm top crack, getting a look on B. We have a teammate back at it, so that's why I didn't rush it. And uh, Blood Wagon, he do die, unfortunately. But Bez goes back and helps with the A flag. Instead of uh, doing what we did last time, as soon as we lost the flag, three of us would rush. Like that flag and the other guy. And if he died, we lost B as well. So I'm going to play smart and try to kill these guys while I have bad accuracy. I'm going to hop down, hop down, and uh, play it smart. Shooting after Famas, like I was using Sans Galil, I'm not uh, doing a smart thing with it because, like I said, it's not silence. Doing a nade spot, here comes up the thing that's impressive, double nade, get one guy, spray, quad feed! Hell yeah, a 4 on 4 quad feed. You don't see that often at all. Right now I'm 20 and 1, and uh, here I get uh, kind of worried that I'm going to die. I get shot here, get shot there, and... Uh, I hide here because I don't want to die. I call it to my teammates are coming up the street, my and I see the guy leaves me alone. So knowing that's safe, I'm gonna go try bottom cracked again because that's a very strong power point for this. And uh, instead of going up top cracked like they expected me to go before, I'm gonna cut into a uh, right side cracked, and I'm gonna watch the B flag and I get out gone because they anticipated me to go there, which I didn't expect. So right now we're triple capped. Not a good thing for being down one game. So, luckily, we get A flag back, and we Security almost get B off. there. So, what's going to happen? I'm going to hop on B flag with Blood Wagon, and I'm just going to lay down. Okay, so, right now, Blood Wagon gets two kills and gets needed. I'm going to go and stay here and watch as they float out or spawn. Call it and guy up there, and I get it gone. So, I call out to them that there's a guy on the ramp to B, and, uh... Tally Ho gets him. Good old Tally Ho. 
As you see, my teammates are dying on B, so I just cook and aid, throw it for the best, and I luckily I got them off. Now, me not knowing too many nade spots in this game, my teammates thought I did, because the way I've been throwing nades apparently were really good. Which I don't disagree, because I felt like I'm doing really well this game. Right now, I'm 22-4 and four for a GB match, and as you can see, my teammates, they're doing good, but they're going negative. So... I don't blame them because I am getting most of the kills. If I like died a little bit more, I'm pretty sure they would be the ones doing better. And uh, right there, I didn't expect God to come up the stairs, but he did. And I didn't call it to my and I did call it to my teammates that he was still staying there, watching into our spawn. So here I'm going to say bottom yellow. Wait for the rest of my teammates to spawn before rushing. So I see they spawn, and I said, okay, let's go uh, right side B because if we rush one by one, we're going to die one by one. So just keep on waiting, and uh, also I see a guy taking A. Oh no, this game here. Um, this is actually the second game of our two-part domination. Sorry, but um, the only reason why we don't. No, nope, never mind. No, it's not. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, our second one, we don't. Uh, we around the two-minute mark. Because we do win this game, obviously, you look at the score. It's near impossible for them to win. Around the two-minute mark, we uh, lose B flag. And instead of rushing it and getting triple capped, we just decide to stay on A flag, and that is it. And the reason why we do that is because that's all we need to win. So, instead of being greedy and going for the big win, we just play it smart. Uh, right here, I'm just going to stay around crack side. I get shot from my teammate. He does call it it was me, so, yeah. I see he has a knife, so I'm going to watch over there, which I don't think I should have done because I anticipated him to come from somewhere else, but I still said maybe he might, which is maybe smart, maybe not. You never know. So Victory is within our grasp. here I see that they're shooting their spawn, so I'm going to be watching that street where they spawn because I know that they're eventually going to come up and through, but I guess they don't. So I see two on B. I take, them both. I take one out, call sec one right side cracked. And yeah, basically that's all I do is I kill and call. I also have three fly captures to level defense. So I'm doing the majority for our team at the moment. And um, coming up here, I do a, something a little bit different just to try it out. So coming up here, uh, they're taking B. If you look at it, I never ever seen anyone do this nade spot before. And luckily it works. Now, I didn't notice that there's a second guy on it, but I got the first guy off it. That was a good nade in my opinion. Something I just could do. And anyway, guys, this is I Pine Saw saying I'm gone. That's uh, game one of the four I will show. So, peace. Our dominant rule will be remembered for their dedication and loyalty.